Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and we are about to fight another boss. The Dragon Tank. And there is the Chancellor who's acting like a cheerleader. So let's go. Okay, so you're gonna want to take out the head first, because the head heals all the other parts. But just use regular attacks, because the head resists any lightning or fire-based attacks, and that means slash or flame toss. But not to worry, Chrono's regular attack does plenty of damage. As you can see. But beware, the tank has some nasty attacks, like that one. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, a few more hits and the head should be gone. Yeah, I'll have Luca deal out a tonic whenever one of us needs it. Like, she could probably use one about now. Alright, the head is gone. Now it gets a bit easier. And that's kind of a hint right there, that if you get rid of the wheels, the tank can't run you over. Okay, I think I could... Make some good use of Fire Whirl here. Yeah, that's how to do it. And there go the wheels. And that laser attack's kind of annoying. I guess I'll give Chrono a tonic just to be on the safe side since he's getting a bit down there. Alright, we got it! And now is one of Chrono's most badass moments. That is so awesome right there. And I was so worried when the Chancellor said that in my first playthrough that I'd have to beat it again. But instead, we get to run over the Chancellor. That's what you get for trying to execute me. And we are on the run. Yeah, let's go, Luca. Uh-oh, more guards. And they're spazzing out on the staircase. No matter. And here comes Marl. All dressed up and such. And she does her typical thing of looking around to make sure no one's watching while she gives orders. <laughs> How in the world did the Chancellor get out of that sticky situation? That's what I want to know. Wow, the King is kind of an asshole to his daughter here. Whoa, she told him off. Yeah, let's get out of here while we can. <laughs> the Chancellor is only concerned about catching us. And the King shows a bit of remorse about his daughter leaving. <laughs> Silence. I didn't say anything. <laughs> and what's that over there? Is that a gate? Yeah, Luca took notice of that. Does this mean we'll be doing more time traveling? We've got to wonder. Not to mention, there are a bunch of guards chasing us right now, so we really don't have a choice. What, and trying to face them is rational? Oh, well, I'm gonna go for the gate here. 
And the Chancellor just runs up and stares stupidly at nothing. <laughs> the place where the gate used to be. And wow, it looks like we're on some kind of spaceship or something. Could this be a new time period, perhaps? Yeah, definitely looks like one. Hmm, I've heard that music before, and I've encountered some other things that were sealed by a strange force. More on that later. For the time being, we are in the uh, question mark era, much like the uh, last one we were in, until we found out it was actually 600. So let's buy some stuff for now. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I'll buy iron suits and iron helms for everyone. And why not equip them right now? Might as well. That, that way we can sell our old stuff too. Yeah, I'll give Moral the Defender. I think she could use more of a defense boost as opposed to an attack boost. Okay, I think that's all. And there's another one of those doors. Well, I could use some HP slash MP recovery. Aw, I want food. Well, the truth is, the only way to possibly get food is to go through Lab 16, which is over here. And there are going to be many battles here, that's one thing. Yeah, that's one thing about this place. Plenty of battles, which we haven't had a lot of in this episode, mainly just the boss battle. Oh yeah, critical hit. Okay, generally you want to take out the meat eaters first because they heal everyone, but I didn't do that. Wow. I guess the load sword gets a lot of critical hits or something. Okay, moving on. Up, oh, another battle. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of these battles just so I can get through Lab 16 in this video. Which is my hope. And once again, I am not killing the Meat Eater first, like I recommended. Ooh, they both got critical hits. That's always nice. And Luca leveled up. Which is useful. Dang it, how did that rat get my tonic? I, he, he like ran through the wall there. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut this battle out. And, um, Marl learned Provoke, which in my opinion is one of the least useful attacks in the game. It essentially causes chaos on the weakest enemies, which you shouldn't need to confuse anyway. So yeah. I don't know, I'm not one for uh, status ailment attacks anyway, I don't really find them that useful. And there's a weapon for Marl, the load bow. Okay. Wow, I haven't fought enough of those guys already. Okay, let's not get our tonic stolen by the rats. Okay, these guys here. These shadows are resistant to regular attacks. So here you want to use Slosh and Flame Toss. They are the only things that will work at the present time. And the shadows actually have one hit point, but a physical attack will do nothing, so that's all they need, really. I think there are more shadows down here. Yep. Wow. 
Okay, there's another battle here. Yeah, okay, I'm fighting a mutant now, as you can see. And, um... Yeah, these guys are kind of annoying because they have a lot of HP. I think they have 300 hit points. So, you know, just hack away at them. That's really all you can do. And they also absorb your, your HP. Will that do it? Yep. Okay, looks like I'm running low on time here, so I'm gonna have to cut it off pretty soon here. It'll be a few days before I can make another video, so next time we will explore some more. Thanks for watching. See ya.